Us Brits love a debate. Scones, or is it scones? But there is one debate right now that is more heated than anything else. Should sandwiches be crisp in or crisp out? I know. Are you crisp in or crisp out? Send all. <laughs> now I'm just gonna wait for all the replies to come rolling in. Gary Lineker just messaged me. <laughs> what a legend. I'm gonna call him actually. There he is, Gary Lineker, the king of Chris himself. I can't believe you made a whole career out of Chris. Honestly, it's impressive. But I, I, I played football as well. I, I, I was quite good. I, I... Hold on a minute. You were a footballer as well. Okay, enough of this. Let's talk about the serious questions now, Gary. Are you crisp in or crisp out with your sandwiches? Oh, crisp in. Nice roast Oof. chicken sandwich. Salt and vinegar crisps. Oof. Salt and vinegar Lineker, am I right? Oh, yeah. He's crisp in. Gordon! <laughs> it's Gordon Ramsay. Hey, guess what I am, Gordon? Idiot sandwich! You do look like an idiot. Listen, I don't want to have another lunchtime nightmare, so I need to ask you a very important question. Are you crispin or crisp out when it comes to sandwiches? Jazz, it's not even a discussion. It's crisp out with me in this kitchen. First of all, you can't taste the flavour of the crisps because it's sandwiched between two layers of bread. And secondly, the bread makes your crisps soggy. <laughs> Come on, man. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Idiot sandwich. This is Ben Taylorson, all right? He ate a crisp sandwich every single day for a whole month. Ben, what are you doing right now? I'm making a crisp sandwich, mate. Of course you are. Crisp in, I bet, innit? Always crisp in, mate. Enjoy, Ben. You're an absolute legend. Now, that's a man who's not afraid to eat his crisp sandwich in public. I'm going to ask my lunchtime hit cast. Looking good. <laughs> Loving the workout. Are you crisp in or crisp out? Firstly, it's a crisp butty, and second of all, the crisp always has to go on the outside. No, no, oh. no. Guys, guys, relax. Now it's time to talk to a proper expert. Gavin. I've heard that you know a lot about potatoes. We've been growing potatoes in our family for nearly two generations for walkers. You know, it's in my DNA. Hey, I'm a bit of a potato head myself. Are you crisping or crisp out? Well, the potatoes have spent nearly three months in the ground under the soil. It's now time to get them out, show them off their glory. I'm 100% crisp out. We have officially polled the nation and I can reveal that crisp out is currently in the lead. But the debate rages on. Come on, get involved. 